and thanks to uh, the Welsh Government and the Minister for bringing forward today's uh, debate on the 2022-23 uh, draft budget, a draft budget of I and I'm sure many people across Wales have uh, eagerly uh, been waiting for. And I'm sure all members uh, across the Chamber can agree that this budget has come at a, a difficult time as we uh, continue to move out of uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. However, it's clear from our side of the Chamber that this budget doesn't go far enough in delivering on the priorities of the people of Wales. As outlined by my colleague uh, Peter Fox in his response to this uh, draft budget, our local services have gone under uh, huge pressure uh, following the pandemic. pandemic. As I've mentioned many times in the Chamber before, it's extremely important to keep noting during this pandemic, councils in particular have gone above and beyond in providing exceptional services uh, to our local communities. And Minister, as you'll be well aware, um, councils have, of course, welcomed uh, the local gov government settlement in general at a 9.4% increase in average uh, across uh, those councils. But we have to recognise that is after years and years of underfunding uh, to councils across uh, Wales. It's also important to note there are some challenges with the way in which this funding is allocated. And I think it's something which uh, Sir Griffiths uh, mentioned before in terms of the future uh, funding of, of councils as well. An example which I've, uh, I'll highlight, I'm sure you won't be too surprised at this, that the Conservative-led Monmouthshire County Council, uh, run very well, uh, may I add, will receive uh, the highest, uh, highest increase in aggregate external finance uh, next year. But in terms of that per capita funding, per resident there, it's the lowest at around £1,200 per person. D completely different to that at £1,900 per person uh, for residents in Blyna Gwent. Uh, when it comes to local government, parts of the Welsh Government budget um, are going to make and support councils make that uh, I I improvement. But in my view, there are too many opportunities that have been missed, which could have allowed councils to thrive even further and be even more sustainable.